Welcome to another daily recap for Friday, November 10, 2023. We're looking at a one minute chart of the spiders and the three horizontal lines or levels that were identified and put on the chart before the market opened. And these levels and the spiders are the basis for activating trades in E-mini futures. So let's examine today's trades and see how they worked. There were seven levels calculated before the market opened and the three you see here that the spiders hit, but only two of these levels produced trades in the E-mini futures and I'll explain. So this first level at 437.62, it was taken off the table before the spiders had a chance to hit it. So when you're manually trading these levels and even automated trading, if the algo knows what to look for, you would have had to make a decision after a certain point when price consolidated under 437.62, whether price was likely to react when it hit the level for a reaction in the other direction for a base hit, or if it would be more likely to push on through and continue higher. And you can see here on this short one minute time frame chart that the spiders hung out below this level for over 20 minutes. They couldn't even get a test of level and bounce back. And don't forget there's a five cent buffer. So 437.58 came within six or seven cents a couple of this list one time. And they consolidated under this level uh, to build up enough juice to power through. You wouldn't necessarily have known that the spiders would have powered through at the beginning of the day when this level was identified. But due to a variety of factors that I take into consideration, I removed this level from triggering a short trade in the ES right before 1230. And it turned out to be a the, the right decision because a couple minutes later it just powered on through and it never looked back. A short trade would have been a fumble or a TKO, TKO technical knockout at this point. But by the way, this 437.62 level was valid for a retest for a long trade if the spiders happen to come back into it later in the trading day, but that never happened, so it's a non-factor. But So I did, however, go short at this next level at 438.43 because spiders came up into it quickly and that increases the odds that the next level is going to be the next interim place for a reaction in the other direction. But as you can see, this 438.43 level did not work as intended and the trade ended up being a fumble. But it was, I mean, there was hardly any reaction in the other direction. The price never even got down to the neighborhood of the base hit profit target. But the trade really wasn't too bad in the long run because the third and final level, as price got up to it, was still valid to trigger another short position. So going short there averaged the short position in and the spiders did come down just barely enough to squeeze out a base hit um, above the average entry price. And one base hit was, was in the books, and that meant both of these levels were off the table for the rest of trading day, and that was all there was to it. So those are the trades, and let's take a look at the tracking log to see how this translated into profits. So here's the 437.62, which was the no trade, and it will be on the board for tomorrow in case the spiders come back to retest, retest that area. Uh, this 438.43 level was the fumble, and the short trade there was averaged with the next level up of 438.95. So double the number, double the number of contracts with both positions in play, four point base hit. So not too bad. I've seen worse fumbles than this, so I'm happy to take what the market offered today, even with the fumble. I hope you found this information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.